Stay in your room. <laughs> have it put in there. Getting up. Come say hi quickly. Jump on me right after that. Hmm? And then after I'm going to jump on with them. OSG? Yeah. Yeah, okay. at two. Oh, two, okay. What time is it now? One. Oh, nice. Oh, so I'm nice. Hi. Hi. Hey, what's up, FIFA? Good. FIFA? Justin FIFA? <laughs> Justin FIFA! Go work, go work, go work. Go work. Okay. Run, 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 run. Go with the teacher. Okay. Hurry up, don't come back no more. <laughs> wait, wait, now, don't no come time. Back no more. Get out. Get out high. See you next year. <laughs> hey, gosh, okay, let's do it again with that thing. Hey, Dan, thank you so much for joining me today. How's everything with a new baby? Everything's great. I'm having a ball. Baby heaven. Yeah. How are the nights? Well, you know, we had a night nurse at first, and then we got too hyped. We were like, you know, we were so excited about the baby. We were like, after a couple of nights, we didn't need him, her. And then three weeks later, we just crashed. It was like pff, that, 12 to, that 12 to 2, and then 2 to 4. Three, then you know that that little section of time. So we had to get help again. So we got we got some relief, and um, you know we got we're getting our sleep. The thing I was concerned is that you know when Rocky gets really tired, she might start to get sick. And you know in these times, like she had the sniffles, we had to give her a COVID test quick. But she was all right. You know what I mean? But you can't even get sick anymore. You can't even have the sniffles without worrying. You know what I mean? So it's like yo, everybody get rest. Or else you can't come in yet. Not even a little symptom, you know? And I love, and I see that you created a new brand uh, line for babies with Baby Dusko. Yeah, the Baby Dusko line. You know, we, uh, there's onesies. We made his onesies. And we made socks, blankets, you know. You know, basically, he needed a job. So we made sure that he was born <laughs> <laughs> into it. You know, he has, he has his own company. So you know he's he's starting now. I'm investing him in him and his future, and you know business will also be like a language to him, you know, along with a lot of other things. So for example, you know, I prefer you only speak French to him. You know, the people in the house are Spanish. He's Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican, so he got to know uh, Spanish. I don't want him not to know Spanish, and I want him to embrace his culture. I want him to be able to speak English, Spanish. And French, I want him to speak all kinds of languages, but one of the languages he will speak fluently is business. Oh, I love it. He's never going to speak French with us and the kids, you know. We're so excited to see him and we're so happy. Absolutely. Such a cute tiny baby. Oh, my God. He's so perfect. Yeah, he's like a little Spanish me with blue eyes. Oh, my God. He's so cute. So, so cute. Mm -hmm. So, I've been everything. So, you wearing, which shirt are you wearing? Because I know you have so many lines and I really want you to show the well, public like oh, this, Poppington, this is the Poppington out. well you know overall it's Poppington and underneath that there's graphics so there's a CEO there's Poppington um, the one I'm really excited about is we're launching my daughter's line Ava Ava and um, you know it's a contemporary line it's really dope a designer contemporary and uh, you know it's like I, was, I remember doing this with her mom you know what I mean and this was my dream for my daughter to turn 21 and for me to be able to build a company with her as well. And, you know, we did a lot of other creative things. I made a movie with her, you know, but also she's her third year in college. She's a supermodel. She just did what she did. Like, she's modeling for Skims and, you know, she did a bunch on Kanye's range. She looks so gorgeous on the Skims. Mm -hmm. She's going to win. She's, a, she's like a, a better version of me as a woman, you know. I, I think, you know, uh, uh, me without all the, the pain and the fighting... I did a lot of that so she could just have fun. So, you know, when I'm watching my children enjoying their lives, and, you know, for me, it's like, when, when I was younger, it was like always preparing your child to be tough, to, to be out in the world and to survive in that world. And I'm like, I don't want my kids to survive in that world. I don't want them in that world at all. I want them in the world that I fought for for them to be in and to remain there and to expand that world. So yeah. that's why I'm not like, yo, I'm not going to train you to struggle. I'm going to train you to expand the business and for us to live and understand what real wealth is. You know, like we still sit at the table and eat every night. You know, the, the, the best part about the baby is how much it's brought my family together. You know, Ava was here every day. Tallulah's excited to be here every day. You know, it's like... Oh, and she sleep over again. Sleeping and over. It, and, you know, she's at that age where... I don't make her do anything. If she doesn't feel like seeing me that day at now at this age, it's on you, really. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I did my job. But she wants to see her dad and she calls me 
And it makes me really happy to see her and how happy she is to be a big sister and how she's embracing the role of a big sister because Ava was a, a, a elite big sister for Tallulah. I mean, couldn't couldn't ask for any better of a bigger sister, a big sister. And, um, you know, Tallulah was trained well, how to love, you know. Yeah. And, and, and again, what real wealth is, you know, Tallulah's the type that doesn't like when people are in the house. She'd rather just be family. And she doesn't care about all the, 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 the famous and all of that stuff. She, like, says no to her modeling stuff. Like, she doesn't even do it. She'd rather go to school. You know, she and, 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 and for a child and for someone that hasn't been infected with the the perspective and the and the false perceptions and perspectives of the world. A child just wants to have time with the person they love and the people they love the most uninterrupted. So I, I've learned to do that and enjoy that. Like, I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I take for, for when we don't have the night nurse, I take the, the, uh, the nine to two o'clock shift, you know, and I enjoy it. It's, it's a real good time I have with my son. You know what I mean? It's like, I think about the times I miss with my other children like that. And I think about people that miss those times with their children. And it's it's just like, it's like saying you have a lotto ticket that you don't want to cash. The wealth that comes with, with pure love and, 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 you know, without having to uh, unconditional love, you know, just, just it, of something you made and, and just nurturing, that's, that's really what we're here for. And I think sometimes people lose sight of that. Yeah, and I see you as a father when I went to, to see you guys with Rocky to see the baby for the very first time. Mm -hmm. and it was so beautiful to be around you, other daddy again. Now, your dad, of course, but with that tiny little amazing, you mind me in your arms, you never knew what you're doing. You just got the baby, you're so comfortable. Do you feel a difference between like all the children that you had in the past because now you're way more mature and I think you're more in a quiet place? You are, you, you have your little bubble, and I feel like, as you said earlier, back then, back in the day, you had to fight, you were more busy and stuff, you know? Well, the difference was I wasn't really in with, the, with the mothers that I had the children with. Mm -hmm. So when you're, you know, you should truly be in a relationship with, with someone when you have a child with them because you're not your partner, that's your homie, that's the person that you kick it with 24 hours of the day, or that's what you should want. And, you know, when you're both equally love and no one's feeling pain and no one's feeling like they're being ignored or no one's feeling like they're being cheated on you know when you can just focus on the baby and raising the baby you know without arguing without without any drama it's it's a beautiful thing it's something that you know I've done a lot in my life but this is the first time I've ever really had a experience like this and had I missed this experience nothing that I've ever gone through would be as great as this, you know? It'd be like I was doing everything for nothing. It was like I fought my whole life for this moment. Wow, it's it's strong, damn, to hear you say that because you have amazing kids, but that's true, like... Um... Well, think about it. Look how long it took. Like, literally, Rocky was, like, pregnant for two years. We lost the baby. And, you know, it was something that, you know, I had never been through anything like that. You know, I sneeze on a woman and she gets pregnant. So it was different to have to really fight and be worried. Like, you know, you, you, you basically uh, having a healthy child, you'd be like, oh, that's normal. And it's, it's, that's all that, that matters is that your child is healthy. That's all that mattered to me is that the, the baby was born, you know, every day that she was pregnant. I counted every second, every hour. You know, and it wasn't a bad second arrival. It was just the anticipation of dealing with that day and making sure it went perfectly, you know, and perfect for some people take that perfect for granted. You know what I mean? I was just able to, like, I get to appreciate it because I know what it is to lose a, a baby, you know, and, and, and be really sad about it. It's not, it sucks. It's, it's not, I was amazed know. with the strength and the power of love that you had because... <clears throat> being close friends from you guys and see you with the kids and going through that experience with you you know even though of course we've not as i mean i didn't lost a baby but i i, I was you know i had a lot of empathy well, you, were there, you were there the you were there you know yeah you were there. i remember the day the whole thing happened you had like maybe one day kind of of course 
totally shook off. But then that strength and the power that you had inside to just like switch the whole things, even for Rocky and the entourage were like, okay, good, it's okay. In a month, we're doing it again. And the whole thing was so positive. Like you did not, I did not see you like a minute being like, you know, I give up or it's hard or having pity on yourself. That ability and that strength that you have to just like jump on the next move was such an amazing like lessons of life for me, you know? Well, you know, I talk a lot about how you're supposed to deal with life, you know, even before this happened, I made all these different records, you know, why I cry, we all gonna die, and, you know, you know that we don't we, we live and, you know, for me, I, I'm having too much fun to be in a dark room. And, you know, when I look at the things that happen to me, I see that it's common, it happens to a lot of people. And I'm lucky enough to have the wherewithal to deal with it a certain way. So I appreciate that aspect of it. But at the end of the day, I'm not staying in a dark room. I'm gonna fight to get out that dark room. I'm not sitting in a dark room ever. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm human and I'm gonna feel pain, but I'm not gonna just stay in pain and wonder why me and all that. The thing is get out of pain, learn from the pain so that it could be applied to your future. In the future, having a dream is what pulls me through. See, I look at life like there's war and there's battles. You could lose a battle as long as you win the war. You learn from a battle. You could lose 10 battles straight, but if you win the war, it all means it was a W. So the war was, we gonna have a baby. And we lost a couple of battles, but we learned from those battles. But at the end of the day, wasn't nothing gonna stop me or Rocky from winning that war. And seeing her in pain hurts. So I was gonna do anything I could do to make sure she's out of pain. Or, you know, at least while she's in pain, she's dealing, having it the best kind of pain you can have, or at least, you know, something that keeps you fighting, you know. So again, like you said, it was like, all right, we're gonna take a month to heal up, go to Hawaii. You know, she picked up a nice joint car, came back. And there was even second, you know, and, and justifiably, you know, apprehension about should we do this again so soon? And I'm like, hell yeah, let's get this done. You know, yeah. and we did it the week before Corona had started. So had we waited another week or another day, we may I not have, have we'd have been sitting around in a dark place to hold Corona as opposed to in a bright place. We were able to look at the, um, at, at the, uh, at the, uh, when they made us stay in the quarantine, just like, yo, this is what we need. We get to relax. We get to stay in the bubble. People can't come over. We got to walk the dog every day, work out, cook. You know, it was a very calm, pleasant experience. And, you know, now that the baby's here and Corona, I mean, we did everything during Corona. Honestly, this is the best time to just stay in. So this is, you know, for us, the timing is really good. And, you know, knock on wood. And, you know, I just wish that everybody else would, that, that has to be outside every day would take this shit really serious and make sure if they're gonna do it, do the right precautions. And you know all of that, but yeah, everything. I don't know. It was like in, in in the middle of other people's nightmare, our dreams came true. You know, and and that's crazy how it's about point of view and perspective. You know, two people could be in the same exact place at the same exact time, but one person could be having a ball, and the same ex and another person in the same exact place, <clears throat> nightmare, They're having a terrible time. You know, it's just about the way you see things. Totally, totally. And are you gonna film again too? I know you have like so many projects with like movies and the same times. And oh, it's about to get disgusting. So you know what I've been doing? I haven't been sitting still during COVID. I was able to shoot three, four movies, you know, and develop all these clothing lines without any instances of anybody catching COVID. That's why I stopped because I was on a run, and it was time to edit. So you know, we got this magazine coming out. We got. Um, a documentary, we got a comedy coming out, we have this new clothing line coming out. I took down the streaming service to redo it, and it's going to launch with more functions where you can buy things from it, as well as, you know, just watching, uh, just getting the, the content. And then the 24-hour network is going to launch in LA, Atlanta, and Charleston. And, you know, I'm going to, and then I start another movie in January, a zombie movie, which I should have been started, but again... I wanted to edit this shit, get it all right, get it out, 
and then move on, you know? And uh, it's a perfect time. It's a perfect time right now. It's a perfect time. Very prepared. And then, you know, I got the spot in Wyoming. So, you know, we'll be shooting a lot in Wyoming. When it's just cold right now. But Wyoming is amazing. Like, the photo that you guys did for the magazines and the fashions was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, I'm, I'm looking forward to launching it and being in the magazine business. You know, Rocky's the editor-in-chief. And, um, you know, we, we, we tend to do things because we're passionate. We're artists. And we love to capture our moments and, you know, put them into place and put a narrative on them. But sometimes we're not so big on selling stuff. We just like it as an art, you know. Yeah. But now it's time to distribute this stuff. The world needs it. Make some money off of it and do it in a way that's cost effective, you know, that, that facilitates where we are. So there's a physical way you could get the magazine. There's a digital there's a film that comes with the magazine. There's all type of shit coming. I haven't, this, I haven't even talked about this yet. So, you know, this is, this is, you know, again, my approach these days is my actions are going to speak louder than my words. You know, I'm a guy that does a lot of talking, but I also have to back that shit up. So when I am talking, you know, that means I'm doing something to showcase what I'm speaking about, you know, and, and evolution being better. I made a conscious decision publicly to come out of COVID stronger than when it started, you know, to be a general, not a soldier, to, you know, create new things as opposed to waiting to be told what to do, giving, Nicolette, Nicolette, you still there? Yeah, I'm too. Oh, for some reason, the thing, can you see me? I see you very good. All of a sudden, I'm out. Wait, hold on a second. Nicolette! Yeah. Oh, look, what's the Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh my God. What's going on? Nicolette left. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, again, I made a conscious decision to come back stronger and, you know, to be productive and to create new ways. So, like, if you're going to start a new business right now, if this business can't survive in a pandemic, then don't start that business because that means you're going to be completely exposed. You know what I mean? And when I see people going out of business, that means a lot of new businesses should start sprouting up. You understand? The depth of one industry is usually the birth of another. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why people can't panic when things have to be done different. You just have to look for an easier way to do something and probably make more money. So a lot of people that I've seen that have focused during this pandemic have made a lot more money than they've ever made. You know what I'm saying? And that's because they were prepared for the future. You know, and the pandemic seemed to have brought the future very quickly to us as far as what you could do from your house, you know, yeah. and, and what's monet how to monetize certain things. You know, a lot of what I've been telling people to do years ago, they're starting to do now. It's, it's funny to me. No, I think you're right. Like, I remember when I met you, you were all about your bubble and doing everything from home. You were such an avant-garde because look what we are in right now. Everybody's just like struggling in 2020, 2021. I think it's hopefully it's going to get better, but it, it's, it's not gonna, I mean, it, it's three months away, right? So the vaccine is here, right? It'll take about three or four months. And all everyone should be doing right now, stay out the way and plan for the next three or four months. It doesn't have to happen immediately. And no one's going to really stress you so hard for your bills. So, you know, as long as you can eat, don't worry about paying shit late. Don't worry about your credit. Just focus on being prepared for what happens when this thing opens back up. Because you got to think, people are going to be doing revenge shopping like a motherfucker. Revenge partying like a motherfucker. As soon as a motherfucker gets that, um, that vaccine, they're going to be right back outside bugging because people outside without the vaccine. So imagine what it's going to look like when people have the vaccine. How are you going to get money when people have the vaccine? And if it doesn't work, make sure you're able to get money if you got to go back in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Plan B, you're right. Plan B, C, Z. D, and E. Like, I, I didn't make one movie. I shot three or four. And we're also editing the documentary about our whole process, which I think will get that Oscar, you know? or that Emmy, or whatever. So I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to the next three months. You know? Almost like to where it's like if there was another month, I'd be like, i take that month just so I can prepare more. I'm just preparing right now. You know? The narrative when this thing opens back up, up will be way different than when it closed. Yeah, you're 
No, that person right. Wow, that's that's a very good, inspiring, motivational uh, speech. You know, I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people and myself included. You know, like the beat has been very, very different. But yeah, we're working on a few things. So always. and stay in shape while you're in the house. Like, you know, you got to work out. You don't want to come back out and be like COVID weight. I, I see a lot of people I haven't seen in a, in a couple of. You look great, though. I'm not talking about you at all. Mwah. You're looking great. Um, <laughs> Thank you. But uh, there's a lot of people that, I, you know, I'd be like, yo, what happened? Like COVID. I got to knock 15 off. You're supposed to have been working out the whole time. You should come out in better shape. It's the best time to be healthy because that's the best way to fight infections. You know what I'm saying? And it's a good time to eat healthy, to work out, have a healthy mind. You know, a lot of people are in a dark place. Depression is killing more people than COVID, you know? So you have to make sure the house that you have is, bet, is, 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 is nice enough for you to stay in it. You know, you shouldn't have a house where you want to be outside all the time. Yeah. And, you know, you have to make sure your mental health is right. You know what I mean? Make sure that, you know, if you got some triggers, you isolate them joints, but you got to figure out what they are. I think, yeah. you know, unrecognized trauma, people thinking being sad is normal. That shit ain't normal. You know? Yeah, I take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Did we hear a baby dust coming around or what? Mm -hmm. I heard him. You know, once he got up, I'm like, bring him over here. Hey, I've been waiting for him. My nephew! Mm -hmm. Where's my baby? Here you come. Oh my I feel, god. I feel him doing a stinky. I hear that stinky. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you oh my baby. He is yeah. so super. Yeah. <laughs> My God, he changed so much in a couple of weeks. He gains like 10 pounds now. Wow. Nine, nine, nine pounds, six, six, nine, six, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Nine. He wears the little socks. He has like the pumping down socks. Oh, yeah, he got the socks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my God. God, he is the cutest. <laughs> so, you know what? I've seen, I've been doing shopping with the kids recently, and I've seen those so cute and i thought of you guys but i don't know if you plan to go to wyoming because they grow up so much i've seen that that winter you know you put the legs and the arms oh yeah that yeah. was exactly we, remember what we wanted to design all those flashy you know uh, with the jacket that don't was we, like that yeah yeah don't worry we, and i wanted to get him one but i was not sure that you guys going to wyoming anytime soon we were gonna go but it's it's too cold yeah it's too cold he's way too cold Oh my God, you're so cute. We can wait next week. Hopefully, we come and and, and we come by. Yeah, I'm check the baby. Oh yeah, no, I'll definitely like help you guys out, and Azalea will be so happy. We'll help you out. No more, no more nanny needed. We got this. <laughs> yeah, come on through. We need the night nurse. We need a night oh nurse. We're coming. We're coming. Believe me, you're gonna have the whole family. All right, so thank you so much, Dame. Thank you for your time. I know you have a crazy schedule. Oh, I'm so happy to see baby Dasko, mm -hmm. you know. I miss him so much. He's changing every day. Yeah, I bet. I bet he is. It is just so beautiful to see you like, like a daddy of a little human being like that, you know? <laughs> that sweet side of you, you know. He's such a strong, amazing fighter and, and in, you know, you're so, you have so much. We, you inspire us so much that to see you in that just, Family mode is priceless. That's what the fight is for. Yeah. What else you're you fighting right, for? Right. Ain't nothing else to fight for if it ain't for your family. Yeah, you know, you're right. But you never should be treating your family like you fight your enemies. Like, if, you know, you don't treat the people you love like the people you're protecting them against. You know what I'm saying? You just don't do that the same way. He knows his daddy, huh? Oh, yeah. He's so peaceful. Mm -hmm. You see, before he was grunting, he was like, eh. Was like, bring him over here, go right back to bed. <laughs> But really, all he'd be worried about is gas. He'd be like, if he got to go to the bathroom that's, and, and, and milk, you know? Yeah. That's all the baby worried about right now. That's oh, all he got to worry God. about. So cute. So thank you so much, Damon. Lots of love to the whole family. Hi thank to Rocky, the queen. I'll tell her. We miss you. Next week. Come on by. We miss you. We Try miss you more. Believe me. We miss you more. We've been very just self-conscious and <coughs> careful. We met some people from Europe, and there's no way that we take any risk. Even though we're feeling totally fine, you know, but just in case for the baby, I think it's wiser to. And I think everybody should be like that, you know. Absolutely. It's about being considerate. Yeah. I appreciate exactly. that. 
No, welcome. It's family. It's normal, you know. We love you. So thank you so much, Damon. I love many, many kids to my nephew. And we come next week. Treasure Lee. Au revoir. <laughs> love you. Love you. Bye. Mi amor. <laughs>